Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new 4th edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser-focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages and video segments, and even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Unit 15. I'm going to soccer match. 1. Snapshot. Look at the picture. What is he? A young man and a young lady. The man is smiling. The young lady is angry. She's making what? Like he would like to shake hands. So he's asking for invitation and she refuses his invitation. Making excuses. Excuse a false reason. I'm sorry, I have to wash my hair that night. I'm sorry, I can't accept your invitation. I can't come with you because I have to wash my hair that night. That night I'm going to wash my hair. Course excuse is a false reason, not a true reason, not true. Not a real one. Some common excuses for not accepting an invitation. Common, general. Famous excuses for not accepting an invitation. For refusing an invitation. 1. I can't. My parents are visiting from out of town. If someone invites you to go to the movies, to go to the cinema. Or to have dinner with him, to come to his birthday party, and you don't like to go. How can you refuse politely? Politely, in very good way, saying no, but in direct way. This is politely, to say no, but with giving reasons, with giving an excuse. Say, sorry, I can't. My parents are visiting from out of town. I'm sorry, I am busy that night. I'm sorry, I can't find a babysitter. Babysitter, a person who takes care of your baby while you're away. Someone who takes care of a child or baby for a short time. I'm not feeling well. I'm sick. I am ill. I have to work. I have a lot of work. I just got a new puppy. I have to stay home with it. So this is of course good excuse but with kids, with children they say I just got a new puppy, a puppy, a young dog. Puppy, British, American puppy. And I have to stay home with this puppy. I have a class that night. I have a class that night, I have a course, I have a lecture. My favorite television show is on that night. My favorite TV show is on that night. I have to get up early the next morning. So in the next morning, I have to get up early. To get up. I have to get up early in the next morning. Get up, T soft D. These are some these are some common excuses. 
Have you ever used any of these excuses? Have you ever heard any of them? Which ones? I have to work. Sorry, I can't. I have to work. Sorry, I am busy. I'm very busy that night. I have a meeting. A meeting? Meeting. I have class that night. I have to get up early the next morning. This is why I can't stay up late. I can't come. I can't stay up late. Which are good excuses and which are bad excuses? I can't. My parents are visiting from out of town. Good excuses. Good. I am busy that night. Good. I'm sorry, I can't find a babysitter. In the USA, good. In Egypt, Saudi Arabia, no. Bad. Sorry, I can't find a babysitter. Okay, you can come with your kids, with your children. You will have fun. <laughs> I'm not feeling well. I'm sick. Good. I have to work. Good. I just got a new puppy. I have to stay home with it. In the USA, good. But in Egypt or Saudi Arabia, not good. You say, me or the puppy? Would you like to stay with me? Or you go and stay with the young dog? I have a class that night. Good. I have a lecture. I have a course. My favorite television show is on that night. Bad. Because you can watch it on the internet. I have to get up early the next morning. Good. Exercise number two. Conversation. Conversation making plan. Look at the picture here. What do you see? A young lady, a young man. Where are they? Young lady, young man. They are in the kitchen, maybe. Could have been a lot of cups, plates. Maybe this is a restaurant, a cafeteria, and they are in the kitchen. They are doing the dishes. They're cleaning the cups. And here we have the name. So maybe there, a waiter and a waitress. A waiter, waitress. A waiter, someone who serves in a restaurant. Waitress. Exercise 2. Conversation. Making plans. Listen and practice. Unit 15. I'm going to a soccer match. Page 100. Exercise 2. Conversation. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until 5. So let's go around 6. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Len and Miguel. Len is a young lady. Miguel is a young man. Say, Miguel. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to. I'd love to. I'd like to. I want. But I. T soft D. But I can't. I'm going to soccer match with my brother. Soccer, football. Soccer, football. O A. Oh, well. Maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. 
Tomorrow sounds fine. Sounds here means seems. Tomorrow is fine. Tomorrow is fine. I'm gonna work until five. So let's go around six. So let's go around six o'clock. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. After that, we can have dinner together. Sounds great. That's great. Sounds seems. That's great. It's great. First question. What's Miguel doing tonight? Tonight he's going to a soccer match. Miguel is going to a soccer match with his brother. Is Lynn doing anything tomorrow? Yes, she's going to work until five. After that, Miguel and Lynn are going to meet each other at six o'clock. What are they gonna do after that? After they are going to go bowling at six o'clock, they are going to get dinner together. That's great. They are going to play bowling and have dinner. B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. When are they gonna have dinner? And who are they gonna meet after dinner? So the time? They're gonna have dinner at what time? And who are they gonna meet after dinner? Page 100. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. When are they going to have dinner? Who are they going to meet after dinner? After we're done bowling, do you want to go to the Chinese palace for dinner? Sure. I love their food. We can go around 8 o'clock. That's not too late. You know, maybe Jason can join us. Yeah. Hey, Jason, what are you doing tomorrow night? Do you want to join Miguel and me for dinner? We're going to the Chinese palace at 8. I have to work till 8.30. But why don't I meet you afterward? That'd be great, Jason. Listen again. Going, who are they going to meet after dinner? After we're done bowling, do you want to go to the Chinese palace for dinner? Sure. I love their food. We can go around 8 o'clock. That's not too late. You know, maybe Jason can join us. Yeah. Hey, Jason, what are you doing tomorrow night? Do you want to join Miguel and me for dinner? We're going to the Chinese palace at 8. I have to work till 8.30, but why don't I meet you afterward? That'd be great, Jason. When are they gonna have dinner, and who are they gonna meet after dinner? Miguel and Lane are going to have dinner at 8 o'clock. They are going to the Chinese palace. They are going to meet Jason. Jason is going to work until 8.30. So, Jason is going to meet them after dinner. Can meet them after dinner. Jason can meet them after dinner. Exercise number 3. Grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. L listen. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until five. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. Time expressions. 
tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week. What is the difference between present continuous and be going to? Let's check this PowerPoint. Future with present continuous and be going to. Going to Ghana. What is the difference between present continuous and going to to express the future? Be going to and present continuous. Be going to and present continuous for future plans. I can use going to and present continuous to suppress the future for future. Be going to refers to future intentions that have been decided but have not been fully planned. What does this mean? When I use be going to, I express the future and I have decisions on the future but I haven't fully planned. I didn't make a plan for everything. We're going to get married. Referring to a past decision. We're going to get married means we have made our mind, we have we've taken a decision, we're going to get married. In the future, we're going to get married. When is the wedding? We didn't decide. At what time are we going to get married? We didn't make the plan. The present continuous The present continuous tense refers to fixed future events and emphasizes that plans or arrangements have already been made. Here the present continuous I use it to express the future for arrangements, for plans I have already made. When I say we are getting married next month, it means what? It means we are going to get married. We made our, our minds. We had a decision. And we had a plan. So the difference here is that we had a plan, we had a time, certain date, that we are getting to get married next month. So the wedding has already been arranged. We are going to make the marriage party next month. But with going to, we are going to get married, but we didn't make, we didn't decide the wedding party time. The present continuous. Examples. I am watching a movie tonight. He's playing tennis tomorrow. She's traveling to Alex next week. We're having a party on Friday. They're playing football this weekend. So the formation here, I'm watching, is playing, are having, are playing. Am is our verb plus ing. And the key words, the time expressions, tonight, tomorrow, next week, on Friday, the coming Friday, next Friday, this weekend. Formation. We form the present continuous, am is are. Verb plus ing. Tonight, tomorrow, Friday, this weekend, next week, next month. This is to express the future. But if I use the present continuous to express now, I'm going to say what? Am is are. Verb plus ing. Now, right now, in this week, in this month. And this year, nowadays, at the moment, so this is for now.
but to express the future, we have these key words. Tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend. Next week. Yes, no questions. To ask a question. Is he watching a movie tonight? Is he? Is he? Read it, is he? Is he watching a movie tonight? Yes, he is. Is she traveling next week? Yes, she is. Are they visiting the uncle tomorrow? No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Is he? Is she? Yes. He is. Yes, she is. Are they? Yes, they are. Or no, they aren't. Watching, traveling, visiting, verb plus ing. Tonight, next week, tomorrow. Words for the future. Words for the future. Is he, is she, is it? Verb plus ing. Tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week. Yes, he is. Yes, she is. Yes, it is. No. No, he's not. No, she's not. No, it's not. Are we? Are you? Are they? Plus verb plus ing. The key words, the time expressions, tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week. A and B. B. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. Negative. No, we aren't. No, you aren't. No, they aren't. Going to. We use going to or gonna to express the future. Subject. Am is are. Going to. Going to plus main verb. Going to plus main verb. I'm going to travel all over the world. He's going to marry tomorrow. We're going to write a book next month. They're going to open school soon. Have your M is R going to plus main verb. Main verb infinitive like travel, marry, write, open. Words tomorrow, next month, soon. Time, time expressions or key words, soon, tomorrow, in the future, next month, on Friday, next weekend. All of these words express the future. All right, now it's time for the grammar. And today's grammar is the future, WH questions. So remember, similar to all questions, we use the WH question word to start the question. Then the auxiliary verb, be, the subject, going to for the future, and the verb, the principal action. So the answer 
is I'm going to go to the beach. A possible question for this is what are you going to do next week? Again, what are you going to do next week? Remember the WH word, what, the auxiliar is first for the question, are, the subject is you, the future, going to, and the principal verb, do. What are you going to do next week? Okay. Very good. Okay. So let's look at some typical questions for a person about the future. When you want to know plans, we ask what? What are you going to do? And to be specific about when, we use a future time phrase. For example, today, tonight, tomorrow, this weekend, next week, next month, or next year. Again, plans and a question about future plans, we say, for example, what are you going to do tonight? What are you going to do tonight? And a response, I'm going to eat at a restaurant. I'm going to eat at a restaurant. Now, the next question about location. The plan is, I'm going to eat at a restaurant. So the next question is about location. And we use where. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Or maybe, where are you going to eat? And a response, I'm going to go to Chili's. Or maybe, I'm going to eat at Chili's. Good. So, location, we use where. For transport, we use how. For example, how are you going to get there? Now, the principal verb to ask about the way the person is going to take transportation, get plus the place is arrive. So, for example, how are you going to get there? Or how are you going to get to the restaurant? And the answer, I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive. Good. For people, we use who. So, who are you going to go with? Remember, always use with when we ask who. Who are you going to go with? And a typical answer, I'm going to go with my friend. I'm going to go with my friend. Good. So these are typical questions for people in the future. A and B. A. Complete the invitations in column in column A. Take care. Column N silent. Column. When I have M and N N silent. Complete this complete the invitations in column A with the present continuous. Use this future. Complete the responses in column B with B going to. You have A and B. A present continuous. B be gonna or be going to. One minute, try to answer. A, one. What? What are? What are you doing tonight? 
Would you like to go out? One are doing. Two. You do anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Are you doing? Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Are doing? Are doing? Three, we have friends over barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? Three, we're having, we're having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? Parents, father and mother, mom and dad. Four. You stay in town next weekend. Do you want to go for a hike? Do you want to go for a hike? Hike to walk for a long time. Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? For are staying. Column B. Be going to. You will use be going to to fill the spaces. B M is are going to. I am going. I'm going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and go on Saturday. Saturday, 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 T S F D. I'm going. I'm going to. To. Well, my father is going to visit my brother at college. But my mother and I are going to be home. Would love to come. Would love to come. We want to come. B. My father is visiting my brother at college. But. My mother and I, my mother and I, too, my mother and I, means we, my mother and I are, so it's not I am, no, my mother and I are, are going to be home, would love to come, my mother and I are going to be home, would love to come, C, sorry, sorry I can't, I'm going to work overtime tonight, how about tomorrow night? I'm going to work. I'm going to work. So C am going to work. D. Can we go to a late show? I'm going to stay at the office till seven o'clock. I'm going to stay at the office till seven. I'm gonna stay at the office. I'm gonna stay at the office till 7. Going to Ghana. 4. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. B. Match the invitations in column A with the responses in column B. Then practice with the partner. Match A with B. You match. Number 1. C. 1C What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Sorry, can't. I'm going to work overtime tonight. How about tomorrow night? 1C 2 2D two. 2D two. 2 are you doing in single Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Can we go to late show? I'm going to stay at the office till 7. I'm going to stay at the office till 7. 3. 3. B. 3. 
We're having friends over for barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? 3. B. Well. Well, my father is going to my brother at college. But my mother and I are going to be home. We would love to come. But my mother and I are going to be home. Would love to come. 4. 4. A. 4. A. Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? A. I'm going to be here on Saturday. But not Sunday. Let's try and head. Let's try and go on Saturday. 4. A. Again the answers. 1. C. 2. D. 3. B. 4. A. Exercise number four, word power. In this exercise, you complete the word map with phrases from the list. Then add one more example to each category. Category, British, American, category. So here we have three categories, three categories, American, so, and, and you would like to put these words in every category. You have three groups for leisure activities. Leisure activities, free time. Free time activities. First group, friendly gatherings. Friends meet each other. This is the group of meeting friends. Meeting among friends meetings live performances live happening now something which is happening now a performance like a play a movie this section for sports you watch you see you see a sport the words barbecue Barbecue, a party, a party, a party where we cook meat on fire, baseball game, basketball game, beach party, birthday party, comedy act, comedy act like a play, a part of a play or play. A play with a like what say the shagal play. The aim play. Madrasa musharbin play. Dance performance. Golf tournament. Tournament competition for choosing the best team. Picnic. Play. Rock concert. Concert, a musical party, British musical party, tennis match. After we put these words, you will add one more example to each category. You will write one or two words from your own, by yourself. Friendly gatherings. Friendly gatherings. Barbecue. Beach party. Birthday party. Birthday party. Picnic. Others. Dinner party. Wedding. Wedding marriage. Wedding marriage. The answers again. Barbecue, beach party, birthday party, 
picnic dinner party wedding live performances comedy act dance performance play rock concert British rock concert ballet opera comedy act dance performance play rock concert ballet opera sports baseball game basketball game golf tournament tennis match squash soccer match football match again baseball game basketball game golf tournament tennis match squash soccer match football game after you wrote the after you wrote the answers please put the word in a sentence b per work are you going to do any of the activities on the chart when are you doing them talk with a partner i'm gonna see a tennis match really who's playing make a conversation example i'm going to i'm going to a birthday party when at what time Friday at seven o'clock. Who will be there? All our friends. What are we going to do? We're going to eat, drink, sing and dance. We're going to have fun. Exercise number five, role play, accept or refuse. Look at the picture here, what do you see? Actor, actress, they are on the stage, they are in theater, theater, this is what? A show? An act? A play? An act? An, a part of a play? Student A, choose an activity from exercise 4 and invite a partner to go with you. Be ready to say where and when the activity is. So here A and B. A, say, are you doing anything gone? Would you like to? You make invitation. Say, are you doing anything on on Friday? Would you like to go to the balloon theater? Would you like to go to the balloon theater? The balloon theater in Cairo? Student B. Accept? Okay. This sounds fun. Where is it? It's in Cairo. At what time can we meet? We're going to meet at 6 o'clock. Refuse B. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't. I'm very sick. I'm very tired. So choose an activity from exercise 4 and you start to make this invitation. Like this. Say, are you doing anything on the coming Friday? No, no we don't. Would you like, would you like to go to, would you like to go to a golf tournament? 
Would you like to see a tennis match? B. Sure, I'd love to. Exercise number seven. In exercise number seven, conversation. Look at the picture. An office. What's the man doing? He's writing. He's talking on the phone. He's he's, he's writing. He's taking notes. Miss Graham. Miss Graham. So what's his job? He's in an office. Maybe he's a manager. No, he's secretary. His secretary, a secretary for the manager, and he's taking a message on a phone call. Exercise number seven. Can I take a message? Listen. Exercise seven, conversation. Can I take a message? Part A, listen and practice. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at two thirty. Friday at two thirty. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is six four six five 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 four zero three one. Six four six five 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 four zero three one. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Secretary. Good morning, Parker Industries. Parker Industries. This is the name of the company. Hello, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? Miss, Miss Graham. Mister for man. Miss single woman. Mrs. married woman. Miss single or married woman. Miss. I'm sorry, she's not in. Not in. T soft D. She's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kael. Is that G A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right, Kael. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at two thirty. Meeting. T soft D. Meeting. Friday at two thirty, and could you ask her to call to call me this afternoon? My number is six four six five 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 four zero three one. I can say five 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 triple five. Also five five double five four four double four. Secretary. Six four six five 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 four zero three one zero 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 or zero. Yes, Mr. Kell, I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. What is the name of the company? Parker Industries. The caller would like to speak to who? The caller would like to speak to Miss Graham. Who is Miss Graham? Miss Graham is the manager, and this man is this young man is secretary. Is Miss Graham there? No, she's not in. What is the name of the caller? Is his name is Mister Gale G A L E? No. It's Kale, K A L E. Did he leave a message? Yes. What is the message? 
Our meeting is on Friday at two thirty. Friday at two thirty. Mr. Kale and Ms. Graham are going to have a meeting at two thirty on Friday. Please ask her to call me this afternoon. What's Mr. Kale's number? His telephone number is six four six five 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 four zero three one. Will the secretary give Miss Graham the message? Yes, the secretary will give Miss Graham the message. Bart B. Listen to three other callers. Write down the caller's name. You are going to listen to three other calls, conversations, and you write down the name of the caller, the name of the person. Page 102, Exercise 7, Part B. Listen to three other calls. Write down the callers' names. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes. This is Tom Lee. Can you ask her to call me back? She has the number. Of course, Mr. Lee. Listen again. Listen to three other calls. Write down the callers' names. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes. This is Tom Lee. Can you ask her to call me back? She has the number. Of course, Mr. Lee. What is the first caller's name? His name is Mr. Tom Lee. First caller, Tom Lee. What is the message? Please call me back. Does Miss Graham have, have his phone number? Yes. Yes, she does. She has his phone number. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. Is Miss Graham there? I'm afraid she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Susan Brown. Please have her call me back as soon as possible. The number is 555-9037. Yes, Miss Brown. I'll give her the message. Listen again. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. Is Miss Graham there? I'm afraid she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Susan Brown. Please have her call me back as soon as possible. The number is 555-9037. Yes, Ms. Brown. I'll give her the message. The second caller is Ms. Susan Brown. Susan Brown, her phone number is 555 9037 Good morning, Parker Industries. Hi, is Mom there? This is Kelly. Oh, hi Kelly. How's it going? Pretty good. Listen, your mom isn't here right now, but I'll tell her you called. Okay. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hi, is Mom there? This is Kelly. Oh, hi Kelly. How's it going? Pretty good. Listen, your mom isn't here right now, but I'll tell her you called. Okay. Third caller, caller number three, is Kelly. Kelly is Mrs. Graham's daughter, the daughter of Miss Graham. How's it going? How is it going? How are you? How is Kelly? She's pretty good. Pretty good? 
Very good. Thanks. That's the end of the first part of unit number 15. Unit 15. I'm going to soccer match. Babysitter. Babysitter, T soft D, American. British, babysitter. A person who takes care of someone's baby. Puppy. American. A young dog. British, a young dog. A young dog. Dog, British. American, dog. O, A. In American, O, sometimes A. Excuse. A false reason. T. I'd love to. I want. I wanna. Bowling. Bowling. A game played by rolling a heavy ball. Four. Barbecue. A party in which a meal prepared outside over fire. A party. British party. Picnic. A journey in the arms of nature. A journey in the arms of nature. Tournament. Tournament. A competition for choosing the best. The best player or team. Comedy act. Comedy act. Yeah, sound. The sound of why. Comedy act. Link. Comedy act. Fihina link wasla bin iddi wil a. باستخدام الياء ساوند أو صوت الواي كوميدي ياكت كونسرت أمريكان كونسرت أو أي كونسرت أميوزيكال بارتي ميوزيكال بارتي تي صاف دي فايف أكسبت سي يس رفوز سي نو رفوز سي نو كول مي باك Call me back. How's it going? How are you? How's it going? How are you? General words for unit 15. Cancelled, cancelled, deleted. Cancelled, 1L and cancelled, double L. Cancelled, USA, 1L. Cancelled, double L, this is British. Halvan the verb for USA with 1L. British. Bib a double L. Deleted. Or deleted. Monuments. Monuments remains. Viewer. Viewer. Gathering. Crowd. Handout. Leisure activity. Spare time activity. Free time activity. Live, direct, happening now. Welcome, 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 welcome. Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.